Welcome back to the Steris Animal Health Endoscopy Reprocessing video series. Step 2. Cleaning. Manual cleaning is the most important step in removing any microbial burden from an endoscope. A thorough manual cleaning process helps ensure that any retained debris is removed from the scope. This debris may inactivate or interfere with the active ingredient in the high-level disinfectant. We'll discuss the high-level disinfection process in Step 3. To clean the endo-eye, the following items are needed. A Revitalox storage container, a clean 60 milliliter syringe, lint-free cloth, double-ended channel cleaning brush, valve control body cleaning brush, clean water, Revitalox enzymatic detergent, and personal protective equipment as demonstrated in Step 1 of this reprocessing series. The Steris Revitalox enzymatic detergents are low foaming, have a neutral pH, are easy to rinse, contain biodegradable ingredients, and are concentrated. There are two options to meet your needs. The dye-free fragrance solution contains a pleasant fragrance that fights odors on contact. It is also dye-free for staff with sensitive skin. A dye-free fragrant-free solution is also available, addressing the patient and staff sensitivities and allergies. Both solutions contain the same fighting properties to combat bioburden and soils. The Endo-Eye cleaning brushes are single-use and designed to fit your cleaning needs. Each brush features non-abrasive nylon bristles to minimize potential for scratching your scope. The brightly colored rounded tips on the channel cleaning brush protect the scope from damage and make it easy to see when immersed. First. Fill the Revitalox container with warm water to a point where the endo-eye will be completely covered with water. Next, measure the recommended concentration of Revitalox and pour the detergent into the container. Remove the tip protector, biopsy port cover, air water inlet cover, and air water cleaning adapter. Now use a lint-free cloth to thoroughly wipe all exterior surfaces of the endo-eye. Pay particular attention to the endoscope's distal tip, making sure that all debris is cleared from the air water nozzle, biopsy channel opening, and lens covering window. Now it's time to use the cleaning brushes. Remember, these brushes are consumable items. If you notice a bend or break in your brush, it could be damaged and break off in your scope. Should part of the brush break off and is not retrievable by passing another brush or other device, please contact your Endo-Eye representative. Begin by cleaning the biopsy channel and biopsy port. Keep your Endo-Eye immersed in the Revitalox solution with the bending section unlocked and straight. Now, using the channel cleaning brush, carefully advance the brush through the insertion tube until it emerges from the distal opening of the biopsy channel. Clean off any debris collected by the bristles with your gloved fingertips in the detergent solution. Rotate the brush 90 degrees and continue brushing as the brush is pulled back and forth through the channel using the same type of short back and forth strokes re-emerging from the biopsy port. Clean off any debris. Repeat this process until no more debris is collected by the brush. Next, clean the biopsy port using the valve control body cleaning brush. Make sure you thoroughly clean the outside and inside of the port. Remove the brush from the port and inspect the bristles for debris. Remove debris with your gloved hand. Repeat the steps as necessary until no debris is collected by the brush. Now, reattach the biopsy port cover and flip open the rubber cap. Fill the syringe with Revitalox solution to the 50 milliliter mark. Insert the syringe into the biopsy port opening and flush. Repeat once. Next, follow a similar procedure for the air water channel. First, insert the air water inlet cover into the air water inlet on the electronics module. Then, insert the air water cleaning adapter into the air water cylinder on the control body. To flush the air channel, fill the syringe to the 50 milliliter mark, insert the syringe into the air water inlet cover, and flush. To flush the water channel, we follow the same process while pressing down on the air water cleaning adapter. 
Now that the scope is clean, move on to cleaning its accessories. Remove the biopsy port cover, air water inlet cover, and air water cleaning adapter from your endoscope and place them in the Revitalox container. Also place the air water valve in the detergent solution. Using a lint-free cloth, clean all exterior surfaces on each accessory. Next, use the channel cleaning brush on all internal surfaces, recessed areas, and through the holes of each accessory. Finally, fill the syringe with detergent solution and flush all areas of each accessory. Let the endo eye and its cleaned accessories soak in the Revitalox solution for five minutes. After five minutes, remove the endoscope and its accessories from the detergent solution and move on to the final cleaning step. Empty the Revitalox container of solution into the sink and refill the container with clean water as to submerge the scope and its accessories. Place the scope back in the water and gently agitate the scope and its accessories in the container to rinse off any remaining detergent solution. Next, flush the biopsy and air water channel with water and air. Reattach the biopsy cover and follow the same steps as earlier to flush with water. Repeat once. Next, reattach the air water inlet cover and air water cleaning adapter. Flush the air channel with water. Insert the syringe filled with 50 milliliters of water and flush. To flush the water channel, repeat the same process while pressing down on the air water cleaning adapter. The final step of the cleaning segment is to flush all channels with air. Remove the endo eye and its accessories from the water. Now pour out the water and replace the endo eye into the container. Using a similar process, draw 50 milliliters of air into your syringe and flush the biopsy channel. Repeat once. Now do the same for the air and water channel. Be sure to press down on the air water valve to flush the water channel. Dry all external surfaces with a clean, lint-free cloth and inspect the scope and its accessories for any residual debris. If you find any debris, you'll need to repeat the cleaning process. This completes step two, cleaning the endo eye and its detachable accessories. In step three, we'll review how to use a high-level disinfectant and how to safely store the scope for the next procedure.